Hello everyone, welcome to the practical series of security in computing. Uh, this is practical number 1b. In practical 1a, we did OSPF MD5 authentication and using the same topology, we will be doing NTP, network time protocol, then syslog and uh, also SSH. So first we will do NTP, network time protocol. So uh, first of all we go to router 0 and uh, we type the command enable and now type the command show clock so this will display the time and the date as we see this date it is showing okay it may show some different date so it is showing october 18th and 2020 uh, but we are in 2021 so we need to update or uh, we need to first set the ntp server we will not set the ntp server and in router 1 we do the same thing we check and then again type the command show clock showing the same date so now we set the NTP server in both the routers how, how to set it so we type the command configure terminal then uh, we define the NTP server so NTP server that our server we type the address of that NTP server is 192.168.1.3 uh, or let it be 2 which is not 3 is 3 it is 3 so this server it is 1.3 okay. then we type the one NTP update calendar Okay, that's all. Uh, we can exit from here. Exit. Okay. Then uh, we come to router zero. Then in router zero, we do the same thing. Okay. Uh, this is only the enabled. So we type the command config terminal. Then we set the NTP server. this 192.168.1.3 and then NTP update calendar then exit now next what we do is we come to this server NTP server and check whether this NTP server is enabled or not so here this is NTP so it is off so we can turn it on to be off we have to turn it on we turn it on then uh, okay this is stop server so now we come to router 0 again enable it now type the command show clock now initial you, you may get this again the same time it will take some time to update the clock at NTP server so it may be possible that you will get the same thing which you had got before so don't worry you can uh, after some time if you type the command you will get the proper uh, result it is taking some time to update we'll check it on another router also so now show clock okay it is showing the same thing we don't need to worry we'll do we, we can try it after some time okay maybe two minutes uh, around so we will get the result because we already set this server okay. so it will show that particular time okay. so the time is here you can see uh, feb 2 2023 and 11th uh, whatever the time is okay. so it will show this time can see now we get it properly okay that is 2021 okay. so this is how the NTP works okay it will take some time but we'll get the result okay so that's all for NTP protocol now we come to the second part of this practical that is syslog setting the syslog server and getting the logging information 
so uh, in this but we, we are of course continuing from practical 1a in practical 1a 1a we have set all the ip addresses of all the uh, host uh, then router as well as the server so uh, i am not setting the address again uh, please if you have not watched practical 1a please go to practical 1a and continue from that practical because i am using all uh, whatever uh, topology i have used in 1a i am using the same in uh, 1b so all the ips that are set so i come to this syslog server okay? and in services we go to syslog and if it had been off we have to turn it on and here you can see there is no logging information and uh, in ntp we uh, just turn, turn the syslog server it is already off now we come to any of the router let, let's take router 1 we go to the command prompt okay enable and then config terminal and then uh, log log into the server 192.168.1.2 then we can exit we can do the same thing on this particular uh, router okay. enable the router and then config terminal and then logging into that particular server 192.168.1.2 okay we can exit from here also now we will check the logging information in this uh, syslog server so this is syslog so you can see the logging information okay uh, this is the logging information it was not there previously so it shows that uh, this 192.168.2.2 had logged in and this 1.1 .1 is logged in okay so this is how we uh, do the syslog and next is the ssh protocol so uh, We'll do on uh, router one. Okay. So we go to router one, okay. and uh, it is already in that particular mode which we want. So we go to the config config terminal. Then uh, we need to define the IP domain name before configuring the SSH. So I name uh, I can give any name. Okay. I'll just give smile.com. Then I have to give the host name. So I'll just write it R1. Give the R name. Okay. We have to give the host name in this case. Now next, uh, what we do is uh, we define the crypto RSA. crypto key so come on yes then so how many bits it will ask how many bits so we can try 512 bits now okay so we go to the line VTVI 04 okay. after this uh, then the next command is transport SSH okay. and we'll do uh, sorry transport input SSH not transport this transport input SSH Next, uh, we will log in local. Now we uh, exit from here. Now we define the username which we have to use. I will just write this username smile. Okay, I can use any, I can uh, have any username. Then we define the privilege privilege uh, I can pass 15 and password 
I can type any password. Okay, let me type A B C D. Okay. So this is the password. So now, uh, now we will uh, log in. Uh, we'll we'll uh, use this uh, particular login information. Okay, and try to uh, get the SSH. We'll just check the SSH protocol from any of the PC. Okay, so now we come to this PC. Any of the PC, I uh, will do do on this PC, and then uh, desktop and command prompt. So in command prompt, we type the we SSH then minus sign then l and then the login name we have taken the smile as the login name username okay and the ip address of that particular uh, router is 192.168.3.1 okay. now it is asking for password so password is abc a B C D. So A B C D. When you type the password, it won't be visible. Okay. Now you can see we got the access to R1 router. We defined this R1, so we got the access to R1. So that completes this SSH protocol. So we have completed the first practical. Okay. Uh, four things we have covered. One in part one A, and the second or the third in the or the, the other three in this part 1b so thanks for watching